Good morning, everybody. It's midnight and beyond. Last time on Chibi Robo, we got stuck in bed with Mr. Sanderson. Uh, I'd rather not talk about it. We found the toy receipt he was hiding and handed it over to Mrs. Sanderson. She sort of flipped out. Like, big time. And then she decided that she's had it with her husband and she's going to lock herself up in her room. Uh, Chibi Robo's job is to make his family happy. We can't let this get any worse than it's already become. Let's see if we can turn things around on episode 23 of Let's Play Chibi Robo. What the heck just happened? We just broke the family, basically. Armagerd, I gotta tell everyone online to go face to a tamblegram all this stuff, girl! No, we're gonna go to the recycle chart and get ourselves the living room bridge. That was like the ultimate breaking of dramatic tension. Chibi Robo, put your scrap into the recycle tron! Right. <laughs> it's a utility bot. I'll set it up in the living room. Okay. So we gotta head out right now. What the heck just happened? We just broke the family. Uh, what's going on now? Daytime. Let's see. Drake Burgers is awake in the daytime. Reese's for breakfast. What? Mr. Sanderson isn't even here, what? And he's still wasting energy, he's still wasting electricity by having the TV on when he's not here. What? And Jenny's not here either, and Tao, and anything? What the heck is going on? Okay, so where is everyone? I assume they're gonna be upstairs because Mr. Sanderson locked herself in there. What the heck is going on? So let's just run over here real quick, load it up. Jenny, what are we gonna do? Your mom is... Uh, pregnant? I don't know. Okay, just gotta calm down, take all this in, let's just sit down for a second. Okay, we broke the family, it's all my fault, I might get kicked out, I might not get special biscuits at night, but the biggest punishment of all is that Telly is still my sidekick. Uh, I don't know. Just stares at us with his microphone with a midgy, midgy, midgeter, miniature, I don't know. Oh, but, I suppose there are times when you need to take a breather and learn how to speak. Oh! So how about this? Hey, check it out! After building my own microphone, I also made this snazzy suit! Just look at that! It's a cardboard cutout of a suit, and he just has two strings over it to have a back. This is the most ridiculously hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. Goodbye! I just gave you 21 happy points! Spread the happiness! We can't spread the happiness when the stinking family is just broken, what the heck? Alright, so let's just run over here real quick and charge... Or not charge, yeah, we're charging ourselves. I don't know, some people would consider it charging. I consider it crazy! What should we do, Jenny? Mom is her, uh... Ribbit, ribbit. Uh huh. Wait, that's it. I can look through these slats. What? That's my smart girl. Ribbit. <laughs> Sounds like he's constipated, so you scared of my face is too big. I can't see inside. Ribbit. How does that make any sense? Give me a hand, Jenny. Ribbit. I've got it. Chibi Robo. She locked herself in the bedroom. Yeah, I know. I'm a little worried about her. I need to see what's going on in there. I can't see through the slats. But I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. She's not mad at you. I'm responsible for all this, but she's still happy about it? I don't know. I guess I just proved it. I'm not really to blame about anything. Can you help me out? Alright, now again, I'm probably the only person in the universe who would notice this or who cares about this, but this is actually the only time in the game where you could talk to Jenny while she's standing up. Like, this is the only time Jenny's standing up and it's not in a cutscene or something. This is the only time you can talk to her standing up. Ribbit. That's about it. I don't know why I find that so interesting, but it's true. Alright, so, just go talk to Mr. Sanderson. Go check out my wife and see what she's up to. Say you'll do it. I'm begging you. Alright, thank you for putting me up here. I appreciate that very much. You gotta help me out. Alright, we'll go check on her for you. But don't be upset if I come out with something. I don't know. 
Alright, so down here. Du -du 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 wow, look who's tracking mud now, Mrs. Sanderson. Okay, so she's just she's just sitting here drinking stinking tea. What the fruit? Alright, let's go talk to her, I guess. What is it, Chibo? Is something wrong? Uh yeah. Oh. My husband must have sent you in here. He just said he couldn't see through there, so how is he able to see her? Never mind. Oh well, it's not your fault. But let me tell you something. He's not getting off the hook until he's sorry for what he did. Chibo, do you give my husband this letter? Uh, sure, and see what I want to say no and see what happens. I don't think I've ever done that. Because I never will. Oh. Thank you, Chibo. He has to understand. Oh, very nice. You've been cleaning up the house. Thank you, Chibo. Okay, not context much. Alright, 10 happy points, 10 mula, fine by me. That broken heart sticker could only mean one thing. Uh oh, let's just go give this to Mr. Sanderson, I guess. So, jump rope time, here we go! Just a minute, Chibo. Oh, what? Pizza said Tiny must make things awfully hard for you. Let me give you a hand. Awesome! Here you go, Chibo. I know you're small, but do your best. Oh my god, I love these shortcuts. So just head into the foyer and break the news to him. She's leaving her husband for a robot. Oh, look at our face. Look at how mad Chibi Robo is. She's like, dude, you done messed up. Well, how'd it go? What'd she say? Uh, she said letter. That's about it. I want to give them the dog bone or something. Hey, is that what I think it is? It is, isn't it? A love letter. Say it is. Thanks, little buddy. Uh, can you give me some happy points now instead of later, just in case you don't like what's inside? Thank you. Okay, giving me happy points before he finds out it's not a love letter. Frog panties, ahem. I think I'll read this love letter out loud because it's good for story and stuff. And so the player can actually see what it says. Dear dysfunctional family, Tau tracks mud all over the house. Jenny thinks she's a frog. And the man of the house isn't man enough to find another job. Well, I've had enough. I'm sorry, but you've pushed me to the edge. The only option I've got left is divorce. Huh? Divorce? Ribbit. I've got no time to lose! I've got to cook, clean the house, and fix stuff! I have to win her back! Let's go, Jenny! Come on, Tao! Ribbit. Snarf? <laughs> Look at that! They just slide down like a boss! That was awesome! But they... Okay! Mrs. Sanderson, what the heck? How did this happen? Uh, Sophie, you could stop acting now. The family's gone. That's sort of weird. They're still in frozen toy mode, even though all the family members are gone. That's interesting. I don't know. Let's see, are you frozen? Yes, he is. Okay, that's weird. Uh, so I guess we could head into... Uh, let's just fall downstairs. I wish I could slide down and be epic like that, but no. Alright, let's just do this instead. I never got that chippy over there. What the heck? Alright, whatever. So, yeah, the family is broken up, but she's still gonna stay in the room, which is sort of weird. She wants a divorce, but she's just gonna lock herself in there forever and ever. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna need to head over to that other rail so we can walk up there and do a bunch of stuff to get one whole chimney door. I know, it's crazy amazing, right? We'll just land on this. Thank you. Just walk up here now, and then we'll go get that chimney door. Make things a little bit easier for us, and then we'll probably get one more on the way down. Why do we need. We need. Uh, 8 plus something is 11, 9, 10, 11. We need three more, okay. I know where all three of them are. Hooray for that. Alright, just go over here then. Just fly over here. And I'm just gonna walk up this thing, whatever it is. And how divine! There's a vine here for us. That's very nice and stuff. Meh, meh, words. Okay, got like a bamboo thing here, whatever. Just fly over here. And. Okay, there we go. So, chippy door number nine out of a 
a bajillion six or whatever. Nine in the living room or boy or whatever this room is. I wonder if this will reactivate the toys. Maybe, possibly. Let's see. It doesn't actually load or anything though. Let's see, is Sophie awake? Sophie is not awake. Okay, so neither are the rooms to the toys. I probably shouldn't have done that in all seriousness when I think about it, but there's an outlet right here, so whatever. I could fall off as many ledges as I want. Whoa, that was close! You recharged 22 times! Gee, Telly, thanks for telling me that! No. Hey, ready, then let's go! Okay. 42 is like the Channel Cartoon Network was on, or still is on, or on my TV at least, whatever. Okay, Cartoon Network, how you used to be awesome, and now you're god awful. Alright. Some people say that, like, I would really like Adventure Time, but I don't know, I just look at it and it just looks really stupid and stuff, I really don't like it. I don't know, I probably shouldn't have an opinion on it because I haven't seen it all yet, but still, it just looks weird to me, I don't want to see it. And I, I have, like, no faith in Cartoon Network after everything that's happened, so... Alright. We got a very funny picture of Mr. Sanderson just all alone in a red background, but whatever. So here's another chibi door for us right here, and then the last one was over by Jenny's room, we'll get that later. And then we'll be good for the foyer, pretty much, and the ladder we just got in the living room will let us get even more chibi doors, and it takes very long, I'm sorry, but it all has to happen at some point, I guess. Just jump down here again, and I guess let's head into the living room and see what's going on in there. With no Mrs. Sanderson, who's gonna cook all the meals? Who's gonna be waiting for me in the kitchen? What panties am I gonna look up on? It's such a sad, tragic world in the land of Chibi-Robo-Divorcedville. That does not make any sense! Oh, Time to water the backyard! Okay, we walk, sweet god. Alright, so now the backyard door is open normally, so we have a much bigger entrance and exit through the backyard and stuff, in case you care. And look at this, wow, a picture of Mr. and Mrs. Sanderson. That's pretty much correct height, as weird as it is, so... Oh, she looks all mad and stuff. Alright, let's talk to Jenny. Let's use the frog suit because it'll be more convenient for us. Yay, Chibi. Yay, Chibi, what? Mom and Dad are always angry and stuff, and now Dad's sleeping on the couch. Even my bear sunshine left me, so now I'm all alone. What? But you and I are gonna be friends, right? Sunshine's gone? Okay. Not sure what that's all about, but whatever. So, just head on over in here, I guess. Let's go see if Mr. Sanderson's doing his job correctly. He's just gonna be like, Chibi Robo, help me operate a hose! I don't know how to do it! I need to help with everything here. Alright, just go see him in the backyard. So now that the family's broken, they're gonna start noticing a bunch of cycles and day and night and stuff. shoo doo 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 And by that, I mean, like, Mr. Sanderson will be doing things on different days, so, like, not every morning he's gonna be out here doing this, like, different, doing different stuff, like, every other day and stuff, I'm trying to say. So, yeah, we're gonna start noticing a bunch of cycles between, like, every other day or every other night. So, real quick, I wanted to go over to this flower in the backyard and show you that you could get flower nectar from it. And I guess we can talk to Mr. Sanderson, too, while he's out here. Just walk up the tree, maybe, and he'll talk to us. Chibi Robo! If you stand there, you'll get all wet. And that's dangerous business for a robot. So stand back! Now, despite what he says, you don't actually get penalized for walking over here, and you don't actually get hurt by being over here, so... I don't know what that's all about. It's just him talking, I guess. Alright, just gonna go to the Chibi Copter. And head up here for reasons that will become apparent in a few seconds. Do do. He sprayed us completely. This reminds me of the thing in the Nintendo Power Magazine, the Chibi Robo Edition one. That it had like a picture of this scene from Chibi Robo. It's like him climbing up. You saw Mr. Sanderson in the background. And it just had a caption that said, You darn robots, get off my lawn. Alright, so the reason I headed up here is because this bird is here. So he returned, I guess. So let's go talk to him and see what's up. Alright, sorry for shooting you in the face, dude, but you pooped on my face, so I think we're even now. Oh, you again. My stomach's empty. I'm starving. Got anything for me? Uh, sure. You want a dog bone? No, he wants a cookie crumb. A cookie crumbs. Grammar! Ah, that's what I wanted to eat, sure. Crunch, crunch, gobble, snarf. He said snarf! He said snarf! Crunch, crunch. Whoa, okay. Erp. Uh, I do better than that. Uh, uh I'm full, chirp. Hack! Hack! Boff! 
All those crumbs made me thirsty, chirp. This is gonna ruin my singing voice, chirp. Water's good, but I much prefer the sweet nectar from a flower. It coats of the throat, coats the throat better. I have that right now if you want it. Now that my stomach's full, I think I'll fly around a bit, chirp. Okay, never mind. I guess I'll give it to you later. I'm counting on you. Okay. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for watching. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I'll see you all later for more Chibi Robo. Good night.